So I'm on my way to pick up a cute little four month old German Shepherd puppy. And it is okay for you to be jealous. Hey Zeus, buddy. This is Zeus. Is it Zeus? I'm not big too. <laughs> Zeus. Watch me. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna take a picture? No. I'm actually not sure who loves the puppy more. The family or the housekeeper. It's very sweet. Very sweet. So I watched a show last night. It's a new show about um, choosing serv uh, dogs from shelters to be service dogs. And um, in uh, one part of the show, the trainer actually says at one point it takes... 18 to 24 or 18 to 36 months to train a service dog and I don't want to nitpick shows apart but that's just not true the problem with a lot of these shows is they're afraid to use any kind of corrective collars or you know give any advice whether you're gonna give a dog any kind of correction or discipline and the problem with that is that people actually think that you can make a lot of progress so unfortunately, people begin to think that you can do all this amazing training without using any corrective collar and just using treats and love and praise and hugs and kisses. But if that was the truth, then we definitely wouldn't have 3,500 dogs dying in shelters in America every single day. I mean, it's, it's a sad reality that it's, you know, unfortunately part of my business that I have to think about every day. What I tell people a lot is there's two things that dogs, mostly dogs in shelters don't have, that's time and money. So that's why, you know, we try to get these dogs in, you know, two weeks. Um, training's not cheap, but we want to, you know, get them in, get the training done, get them home, help the client establish a new relationship with them, teach them how to give commands, reinforce everything. And ultimately, <clears throat> you know, we want to be as successful as we can with our clients. It's very important.